It's interesting. Welcome, everybody. Yeah, let's do London if we get white. If we get black. Hello, John Good. Welcome. He plays e4. Um, let's play e5. Um, I wonder what opening he's going to play. d3. Okay, this is common at this rating level. Uh, playing a little passive. Uh, bishop uh, is blocked now. So we're just going to develop. And when they play passive, I have one um, remedy for you. One remedy for you is when they play passive like this, you should play the move d5. Yeah, and especially now. He has, ben Feingold is going to be very sad about this move. Where's the emote, guys? Put the emote. Uh, this is not a good move. So when your opponent's king, this means that his king might even stay in the middle for a long time. Time to play d5. We're trying to blow open the middle. Oh. <laughs> so what do we gain from this? Uh, we're trying to put pressure. If he takes it, his pawn in the middle goes away and our knight gets to a good spot. Um, okay, where should our bishop go now? We, can, we need to develop our bishop and castle. Should we play it on um, e7? d6 or should you play it on um, c5 what do you think who wants to uh, um, let's play some uh, who wants to be a millionaire wait where should we go I'm trying to find the right, right, um, <laughs> A3? No, I don't think so. Um, here we go. Which one? Option A, option B, option C. Phone or friend? Ask the audience. The answer is C. Bishop c5, because you got the diagonal, he can't castle. He can't, he can't castle. You see? It's very important to prevent castling. Stopping your opponent's idea is the flip side of, um, or stopping your opponent from developing. Now I can play Option A, castle, bishop takes knight, knight c6, which one is it, which one is it, or check, bishop takes knight is the right answer, because we ruin his pawn structure and open his king side. Open his king side. Now that his king's open, we can either try to continue our development or go for a direct checkmate. BMC attack. Okay. What would you do? You you won five hundred dollars so far, guys. You won five hundred dollars so far. Knight h five. Knight c six. Castle king side. Pawn takes e four. Which one is it going to be? Or you can take the money and walk away. Take the money and walk away. If you lose, you leave with zero dollars. You can walk away with 500 bucks or you can go for the next thousand dollar question. You're cashing in Dark Mock? I don't know about that. 94 is not an option. So I don't know. That's against the rules. Can I phone? Phone a friend. Yes, you can phone a friend. You can whisper a friend. Go ahead, t t talk to me. Hello, model gamers. How's it going? Yeah, so uh, if my calculations say that you need to go for a queen h4 attack. And the only way to get queen h4 in would be to move the knight. Uh, and... Uh, 
Dun, 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 time's up. 30 seconds up. Oh no. So that's all we got, model gamers. What do you need? What do you need? Uh, he just said that the queen needs to go here. And how does that relate to this or this or this or this? Oh, knight h5. It is correct! You won a thousand dollars. You won a thousand dollars. You won a thousand dollars. Congratulations. All right. Now we go for go for direct move. Queen H four check. One, two, three. Three. Yes. Okay, that made our life easier. You won a thousand dollars. You won a thousand dollars. Good job. Good job. He wants a rematch. Should we give it to him? Rematch. Good luck. London system for model gamers. Let's go, London system. Real question. How did the London system get its name? A. It was played in the TV show Queen's Gambit. B. It was played in a London tournament in 1922. C. It was played in French against a player from London. And D. It was always called London system because chess invent was invented in London. What, what is the name? Don't tell me to repeat the options. I actually don't know what the options. Uh, I don't know the options. It was always chess was invented in London, so okay. You think so? What was C? I don't know what, what C was. Wait. The answer is... Just play with Michael Landon, you think so? The right answer is... B! 1922 London Tournament. It came as a way of meeting hypermodern opening. This line gives White a solid position and critics referred it to as an old man's variation or a boring system. Okay. That's what happened. 1922. London tournament. Okay, so you played bishop d7. Pretty passive. Knight f3. Okay, good. Did it work? I don't know, actually. I don't know. Okay, looks like our opponent is not following the opening rules. What rule is he breaking? What rule is he breaking? A. Developing your pieces away from the center. B. Not developing your pieces. C. Developing his queenside pieces first. D. Everything. I forgot what C was. What was C? What was the question? What is my opponent doing wrong? Yes, he should have developed his king side first. So the, the right answer is C. He's developing his queen side pieces first. He's developing his queen side pieces first. He should be castling. 
He should be castling. Nice job, everybody. You have fifteen hundred dollars. Okay, that's weird. You're not supposed to go back home. He broke another rule, that's right. <clears throat> okay, as you can see clearly, my setup is way more healthy. I am shocked, Jules. Welcome. My, 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 my position is much more healthy. Optically, he has one bishop that's inside a prison. Illuminati, yes. It is definitely confirmed. Illuminati confirmed. Is that Ill Illuminati? Or... It was Ill Illuminati, but not anymore. Okay, F5. Making a hole on E5. So, let us occupy the weakness. Yeah, a stone wall, but multiple moves down. So, Now I have to find a way to punish this type of development. What should be my punishing plan? A. Trade all the pieces. B. Go for a queenside attack. C. Go for a center pawn break. Or pawn breaks in general. Or D, castle. These, these options don't even make any sense anymore. Play F4, that was not the option. Definitely not go for a queen set attack. Um, the right answer is you want to open the center or open, open basically open the stone wall because we have such a big development lead. Mm. So, my idea in this position might surprise you. My move might sh shock you here. Go ahead and put your move in the chat. Go ahead. My move is, is going to shock you, I think. Corey, thank you for the sub. G4. Thank you, sir, for the sub. 721 now. Yeah, Jules, I was gonna play this if the bishop wasn't there, but because the knight's protecting it, I, I decided not to go for it. Okay, I was trying to, I'm trying to open up the center really badly. Thanks so much for the sub. We're trying to get to th a thousand subs. And with everyone's support, I think we can. Thanks, Corey, I, I'm glad you like it. Okay, so now he's played this move. I have a lot of, uh, you, you might be surprised, but the g4 move has an actual effect on the pawn on d5. What do I mean by that? 721 subs right now. What, what I mean by effect on here is when I take the pawn, he loses this pawn. Okay. Thank you, Sassy Water, so much. Okay, so I'm gonna take this pawn. John, thanks so much for the raid. I'm going to take this pawn. I can also take this first, of course. I'm in a, um, thank you, John, for the raid. I'm, I'm in a dilemma here. Should I take this pawn first? Or should I take the knight first? Hmm, I'm not sure. Welcome, John. It's late for you, isn't it? How was your stream? So if I take this first, I really ruin his pawn structure. But if I take this, he can ruin my pawn structure. Let's take this. So he's gonna take this. I take this. Then he takes this. Then I take this. Then he takes this. Then I take this. So I'll be up one pawn. Okay, he does nothing Nothing of that. Okay, never mind. Okay, now I'll win a pawn. I'll take the knight. Then I'll win a pawn. I was afraid that my pawn structure is going to get ruined. Um, but he didn't do that. Will I join more from subbing or chess.com? No, I don't get anything from chess.com. I'm not a chess.com partner, uh, Sammy. I'm just an independent person just trying to teach chess. So subbing and subbing donation bits, everything helps. Um, 
yeah now i'm gonna immediately win this pawn as i said before the pawn on g4 had an indirect relationship to attacking the pawn on d5 so now i win this pawn on d5 Okay, I've had to be a little bit careful here, actually. If I take the pawn, he might play bishop c6. But, that's okay for me. That's okay for me. Um, I'll explain that soon. If I want to be a bit more careful, I can also play this move. Rook g1. Because this diagonal is a bit worrisome. Um... Let me actually play this move first. I'm trying to get this pawn. So it's kind of like a double attack. There's a new PogChamp emote. Can somebody put... put <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, we have we have two weaknesses to hit. That's a Komodo emote. Okay, so he plays queen a5. This is why I didn't play knight d5, because I knew he would check me. So let's grab this pawn. Remember, when you're famous, they let you do it. When you have a better position, you can take pawns. When you're behind a development, and you, you have a very bad position, then be careful taking pawns. I want a pawn. And maybe more importantly, my rook's in a good spot, and I've uh, weakened his position a little bit. Queen b4, he's trying to grab a pawn. As I said before, when you're in a worse position, trying to grab one pawn far away from the chessboard usually means disaster. So in that spirit, I'm going to play rook c1 and say, hey, go ahead. Make my day. Make my day. He took a pawn. He took a pawn. You think, you think he can get this pawn very easily? You think he can just take the pawn? You think he can spend two, three moves? He's in the middle, watching TV, watching TV. This is bad. Knight d5. The problem is now, all of my pieces are in the game, except for my queen. Hey, Professor Brofask. All of my pieces are in the game. And Black's pieces watching Disney Plus and HBO Max right now. I'm threatening Knight C7 check. He takes another pawn. Oh my lord. This man is fearless. This man is absolutely fearless. Alright, time to check him. There's a problem here for him. There's a problem here for him. He shouldn't step here. Why should he not step to this position? Because of, yes, if he goes here, boom. Double attack. Okay. I can get the free rook. And I'll get the free rook. I heard a, had a question earlier. Somebody asked, why not knight b5? Well, knight d5 is a free pawn. Also knight b5, um, I can play that too, but it's the same thing, but it's it's a free pawn. There was no way to take advantage of the knight on d5, right? So the bishop is also looking at the knight. Queen check. That's just one check. I'm going to play king to f1. And no more checks. No more checks. So here are the... Mm, yeah, I can win the queen with the bishop, but see Herbivorous Her 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 Cyborg. You have to 
always you have to um, know what the opponent is doing. It's very easy to get caught up in, oh, free queen. But then it's a bad sign when you know you don't see a check for the opponent. It's a bad sign, right? That means that we have to adjust our viewpoint a little bit. Look at what the opponent's last move does, right? Okay, now that it's our... Now that it's... Yeah, okay. Now that it's our turn, we can win the queen. Like this. It's a 10 minute speed run, so it's uh, it starts from 400, and every game we're gaining like um, 100 points or 200 points. Okay, now we take the queen. And it's gonna be mate. Yeah, so my opponent uh, broke a bunch of um, rules. Queen takes bishop, makes sense. And um, yeah, it's, gonna, it's only gonna be a matter of time before mate. I actually wonder if after knight c6, okay, now I take this pawn. And then, and then the funny, the interesting thing is that when you're up so much material, you can just sacrifice, you can either go after the, you had to go after the king eventually, uh, since I'm up so much material, I don't even need to make a pass pawn or anything. Just need to checkmate the king. Sacrifice the rook. We are penetrating the, the fort. Check. That's right, model gamers. Okay, now we have a, a, a mate in two. Here, 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 mate. Or here, uh, here. Yeah, this is a fancier mate, right? Check here, and then mate with the bishop. Right. Good game. So, I think my opponent in the opening broke some rules, moving the same piece again. And then um, I opened up his king side, g4. And then opened the center. My pieces are so good that um, I just started to attack multiple things. He couldn't defend everything. Pawn, pawn, threatening the fork. And then the, the further excursion of taking the pawn was too much. As you can see. Okay. Any questions, class?